everyone, this is Moon. We're going to go ahead and go over with our first instructional video what we're going to be doing with this part of our assignment, okay? So remember that we are working towards our goal of 4RI2, okay? So the fourth grade reading informational second standard about summarizing text effectively. We're going to start using instructional videos to help us do this because that way you can pause me, you can rewind, we can make sure that everybody's getting the time that they need to read and annotate. We're not having to wait or have anybody feel like they're being rushed. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're seeing a new passage today. It's called From Pet to Threat, okay? And as we're scrolling through, we see we have one, two sections, okay? We're going to do the first section together, and then you'll do the second section by yourself, okay? All right, so we have imported pets become major menaces in the United States. Imported means that it's brought from somewhere else, okay? So like if you're importing chocolate from Europe, that's importing chocolate, imported chocolate, because it's not from here, I'm taking it from somewhere else and bringing it here, okay? As we read through, we want to go ahead and be sure that we are underlining or highlighting strategically. We want to highlight the main idea or an important word in each paragraph that, the, that we will then combine into the main idea of the two sections, finally combining those into the central idea. All right, let's do this first paragraph together. Back in 2005, a wacky photo made headlines. It looks like a joke, but it was the real deal. A 13-foot Burmese python had burst open after trying to swallow a 6-foot alligator in Everglades National Park in Florida. 30 years ago, people never would have seen such a clash of predators, animals that capture and eat other animals. Burmese pythons are native to Asia. But over the last few decades, many pet snakes have escaped or been set free in Florida by owners who are tired of caring for them. Okay, so what was those first two paragraphs about? Well, it's about pets that have either escaped or been set free, right? They're not where they're supposed to be. They've, been, they've escaped or been set free. Okay, let's keep on going. I want you to go ahead and pause. All right, make sure you're pausing me. And I want you to read these three paragraphs. So go ahead and pause me, and then you can click play once you are done. So you should have paused and read those three paragraphs. What were those three paragraphs about? Okay, well, we're talking about Todd Harwick, who's wildlife control. Remember, you can either be highlighting or underlining what we're doing together. And then what he's talking about is he has to catch these strange animals because people are letting them go, right? They're saying people let them go or they escape. Talking about how he's wrangled lots of imported animals. Okay, let's go ahead and pause right here because we've done a lot of um highlighting so far let's go ahead and put the main idea so far okay so i'm going to go ahead and type mine just so that, that way you can read it um, but you guys can write it wherever you can in the margins okay so what have we read about so far so i'm seeing that we're talking about pets that have escaped or been set free um and that they're strange animals that are imported so imported or strange animals have escaped or been set free after their owners didn't want them as a pet anymore. Okay, that's the main idea so far, right? And of course, you might write yours in a little bit different wording. That's okay. But so far, it's talking about how these imported or strange animals have escaped or been set free. Again, go ahead and make sure that you have paused me uh, so that way you can get that all down. All right. Should have paused to get that all down. Now we are continuing. Let's do this next little section. What I would like you to do is I want you to go ahead and read this next section. So we're from but the introduction to they don't belong here. Again, go ahead and pause me and then hit play once you're done reading. All right, so what was that section about, right? Okay, so it's happening all over, right? And they're talking about how these exotic creatures can be dangerous to people, they can be dangerous to the environment, and they can be dangerous to local wildlife, right? Talking about that python trying to eat that um, alligator or crocodile. I can't remember which one. Let me scroll up and let me see alligator. So, um, so it's talking about that. It's also talking about that it's bad for the exotic animals too, right? A lot of these animals might be endangered. Um, and because of all of this, 
A lot of these wild pets are often illegal. Okay, let's go ahead and sum this up in our MI again. Remember, I'm typing it. You're going to put it wherever you can in your margins. Okay, so the main idea of this little section, well, exotic pets can be dangerous to people, the environment, and the wildlife. They are illegal, and it's bad for the pet too. All right, have I summed that up? Let's see. We underlined how exotic creatures can be dangerous to people, the environment, and wildlife. Good, that's in my main idea. We underlined how it's bad for the exotic animals and that they're illegal. Good, that's in my main idea too. All right, friends, so go ahead and make sure that you paused and gotten this down. Then what you're going to do is after this video, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing with this section right here. Have me check it, and then you'll move on to the questions. Okay, friends, you're going to do great. Let me know how I can support and assist.